Good morning. We can explain lesson 1 in unit 3, solar eclipse. Before we start the explanation, I want to now all of you try to do this activity. Put your hand against the wall and light in the torch. You will observe that the shadow here will be formed. Why the shadow formed? This is because your hand considered as the opaque material that doesn't allow the rays that come from the torch to pass through. So the shadow formed here on the wall. If you remember that you have three types of material, you have transparent material and you have translucent and opaque material. Only the opaque material doesn't allow the rays that come from the torch or come from the tree to pass through it. So the shadow will be formed. So the definition of shadow is a darkness area appear when the light falls on the opaque object. I ask now, only the object like your hand, like the phone, like the tree, like the paper, only this object can form a shadow or the celestial body also can form a shadow. I want now you think and answer the question. The answer will be yes, the celestial body can formation shadow. But how the celestial body form the shadow? You observe it here, the sun and the earth rotate around the sun and the moon rotate around the earth. So you have two rotation. Rotation of the earth around the sun and rotation of the moon around the earth. During the rotation, if the three bodies are in a straight line like this picture, sun and the moon and the earth are in a straight line, you can form a shadow. Again, how? I want now you observe this picture and tell me what do you observe. When I see this picture, I observe that the moon in the middle between the sun and the earth. So, you have two cases. You have the sun and the moon and the earth are in a straight line. This is the first one. And second, the moon in the middle. If three cases happen or occur, the phenomena is called solar eclipse happen. You have again two cases. First one, you have the sun and the moon and the earth in a straight line and the moon in the middle. If this all of this happen, the solar eclipse happen or occur. So the solar eclipse is a phenomenon occur when the earth and the moon and the sun are in a straight line with the moon in the middle. Here, the moon considered as an opaque object and the sun is a source of light and the rays of the sun move in a straight line and fall on the moon. The moon is opaque that doesn't allow the rays to reach to the earth. It's a block the rays. So you observe it here, you have a shadow formed on the earth. You have a shadow here formed on the earth. I have a question now. What is the type of shadow that form it? If you have only one type of shadow or you have different type of shadow. After show this video, you can know the type of shadow will be formed when the moon pluck the rays to reach from the earth. Umbra and Penumbra A point source produces a single well-defined shadow while a bigger source of light produces shadows like Umbra and Penumbra. Let us carry out an activity to understand Umbra and Penumbra. Place a ball fixed on a stand and a screen in front of it such that 
the screen is bigger than the height of the ball. Now light a torch from the other side of the ball and see its shadow formed on the screen. Umbra is the part which is in complete darkness and receives no light from the torch while penumbra is the part which is in partial darkness and receives some light from the torch. Bring the ball closer to the screen. What do you observe? Yes, you are right. As we move the ball from the video you see that you have two shadow formed. The first you will be considered the small pole in the moon and the torch is the sun and the screen is the earth. Look at the screen and observe it here. The shadow that form it. I observe that I have a dark shadow or dark area and I have the faint shadow. A dark shadow this and the faint shadow this. So now I have two shadows formed when the moon in the middle that block the rays to reach to the earth actually is. The dark area here or dark shadow is called Ampra. It's called again Ampra. And the faint shadow is called Penampra. Penampra. So, the moon block the rays to reach to the earth and in the earth you have two shadow formed. First shadow is Ampra in the darkness inner shadow. Darkner inner shadow. And you have Penumbra here is outer faint shadow. Is outer again faint shadow formed. Now I want all of you now see this picture and tell me what is the difference between this and this. There's a sun and this, the moon and this, the earth. Now, tell me what the observation in this picture. Think and answer. Think the first and answer. I observe it here, the moon is near to the earth and the moon here is far away from the earth. So, the location of the moon is near or far away from the earth. It can form a shadow or can select the type of shadow will be formed? Yes. And the position of the moon can select the type of solar eclipse will form it. How the type of solar eclipse form it is selected by the location of the moon. If the moon is near to the earth like this picture, the moon here near to the earth, the rays here is moved in a straight line and reach it to the moon and the moon pluck it to reach it to the earth. So you have a dark area here is Ampra. At the two sides you have a pin Ampra. Here when the moon is the higher orbit away from the earth you observe it here you have a new area that form it you have here the ampere and the two sides you have been ampere at the end of ampere here there is a new area form it is called antampere so when the moon again is far away from the earth the Ampria form it at the end of this and Tempria. At the two sides, you have Penampria. So now you have Ampria, Pentampria, and Antampria. Here the moon is near to the earth, so it formed here the Ampria and here the Antampria. So the Ampria is dark inner shadow and the pentampra penampra sorry is a faint inner shadow now i want to tell me what the observation of this picture what they observe here 
I observed that the sun in the yellow paper uh, color and the moon is moved on the sun but I observed that the moon can pluck the part of the sun and in some cases it can pluck all the sun so I can see part of the sun and in another cases I can see the sun completely like this picture in the first one here you can see the sun in second one you can see part of the sun but here I can see the sun as a lightning ring lightning ring so I have three types of the solar eclipse first type of solar eclipse in this picture when you can see the Sun completely you can see the Sun completely and this is called the total solar eclipse and the total solar eclipse form it in the Ampera you remember the Ampera is a darker inner shadow so the total eclipse form it in the Ampera in second picture I have oh sorry I can see the part of the Sun and this is partial total eclipse partial solar eclipse this is what partial solar eclipse in the partial solar eclipse you can see part of the Sun and this form it in the penumbra this form it in the penumbra faint outer shadow so the, if the person in the Ampera it see the total solar eclipse but in the person in the Penumbra it can see the partial solar eclipse now what are the third picture how I can see the Sun as a lightning ring you can see the Sun as a lightning ring when the moon in the higher up a uh, higher orbiter away from the Earth you remember if I said that the position of the moon select the time of the solar eclipse when the moon is far away from the earth in the higher orbit I said that in the end of Ampera the Antempera form it and in this case you can see the Sun as a lightning ring and this is annular solar eclipse so total solar eclipse type of solar eclipse in which you can't see the sun completely and is forming in the shadow area ampere of the moon and the partial is a type of solar eclipse in which you can see part of the sun and form it in the semi shadow area is penumbra an annular type of solar eclipse in which the sun appears at the lightning ring and is formed when the moon is a higher orbit from the earth and its cone shadow doesn't reach it to the earth so you have three types of solar eclipse total and partial and annular the total solar eclipse happen when you have in the ampere and the partial happen when in the penumbra and the annular solar eclipse happen or form it when the moon in the higher object away from the Earth. Okay, now we compare between the total and partial and annular solar eclipse according to the shape of the sun. In the total, this appear completely. You can see the sun. In the partial, partial disappearing so that you have or you can see the part of the sun in annular appear the sun as a lightning ring type of shadow in which it see a total ampera a partial penumbra and the annular and tempera the position of the moon the moon is a total eclipse near to the sun the partial near or farther to the sun because 
the partial solar eclipse happen when the moon move on the sun or become plug the rays on the sun and the annular the position of the moon further from the earth the solar eclipse doesn't last more than seven minutes and few seconds like 40 seconds so the solar eclipse happened in 7 minutes and 40 seconds only. You should take the precaution in the case of solar eclipse. When the solar eclipse happened, I can't see by my eye to the sun directly. Because the sun emits the harmful rays like the infrared and ultraviolet. So you take the precautions, you don't look directly at the sun during the eclipse. And you use the special sunglasses that are designed for the solar eclipse because the rays that emit from the sun as ultraviolet and infrared can be affected in the eye retina, can be affected in the eye retina and may cause the blindness within few minutes. So you have two precaution. Don't look directly to the solar eclipse and use the special sunglasses to protect yourself from the harmful rays that come from the sun. So again, from the first, when the sun and when the moon and when the earth are in straight line and the moon in the middle near to the uh, earth, and you have an April, you can see total solar eclipse and in the area of penumbra is partial solar eclipse and when the moon far away like this, far away from the earth, you can see the earth as a lightning ring like this. So the April and penumbra is shadows and the shadow in which solar solar eclipse appear penumbra is a faint outer shadow in which partial solar eclipse appear again the precautions you have a two precautions don't say directly or look directly to the sun and wear the sunglasses Thank you for your listening and I hope all of you understand the lesson. Thank you.